Imagine thinking you could escape this. Garfield is a cat as old as time itself. Well, not really, uh, but it sure feels like that. It seems like no matter where you look, this Monday hating cat is everywhere. Video games, TV shows, even stage plays. Oh god, go back, go back! His pursuit of world domination is about to continue with a brand new animated movie just announced, which would actually be the first time he's in theaters in more than a decade. Andrew Kosove and Broderick Johnson's All Cone Entertainment is behind the new Garfield, which has been picked up for worldwide released by Sony Pictures. The script, written by Oscar nominee David Reynolds, is being directed by Mark Dindal, with the duo having previously worked together on Disney's The Emperor's New Groove. Now based on how the information is presented to us, it feels like that whole live action slash animation approach will be thrown out the window in favor of fully CG animation. I'm cool with that, it's something different. But okay, you may be wondering what the heck I'm talking about in the title. People are mad at Garfield getting a new movie, but why? There's a small detail I haven't mentioned yet, and that's the voice behind the beloved cat. It's Chris Pratt. Hey, that rhymed. You know, the guy who took the role of Mario from Charles Martinet. Yeah. With news of him taking the spotlight of yet another pop culture icon, discussion has started that maybe this isn't the best choice. Chris Pratt himself isn't a bad actor by any means when it comes to animation. He did a great job as Emmett in the Lego movie. I'm not necessarily mad at him, more so the fact that Hollywood constantly wants to use the same big names to promote their big movies. You know other people exist, right? People that would do an amazing job job with this character. When we're talking about Garfield, he doesn't really have a main voice actor now. Wikipedia's got you covered. The timeline began in the 80s, but a variety of faces have taken on the same role since then. Notice that animation legend Frank Welker has voiced Garfield since 2007. You know him best as Fred and Scooby-Doo, and he's incredibly talented to be doing this for so long. He already has movie experience under his belt, so it would make sense if he landed the role of Garfield in this new feature. The the only problem is that his name isn't as well known as Chris Pratt, so Hollywood's decision is obvious. This wouldn't have been as bad if he wasn't already revealed as Mario. If I had a nickel for every time he stole a role from Animation Legends, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happens twice. At the end of the day, this is a pattern representative of an even bigger problem. Movies are massive productions built to make money, so I understand why Hollywood does this, but that doesn't make it any any less disappointing. We now live in the timeline where Chris Pratt is Mario and Garfield. What's next? SpongeBob? I don't even want to think about that. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.